Are you looking to start your own business? Millions of brothers have turned to eBay to escape the rat race. Become your own boss and get the Power Seller Research eBook. It's a comprehensive, step-by-step -step guide that explains how to start an eBay business. The website is PowerSellerResearch.com. Again, that's PowerSellerResearch.com. And I think you're the biggest a-hole in the city. Is that so? Well, thank you. I take that as a compliment. I'm sure you do. I work at it. Yes, I, as I as I've always said on this program, we we in Like Us 101 wear that as a badge. So I'm proud to say I am an a hole in spades. <laughs> well, I just want to call and say that you are. And well, thank you. I I, I really do take that as a compliment. Uh, any reason why I've attained this high achievement? Well, I do agree with maybe three things that you have said in the last four months I've not listened to you. Oh, so you've been listening for four months, have you? I have, yes. Uh -huh. I have, and I do agree with a few things. But oh, why, why are you so angry? I mean, you, you think you're insulting me. In reality, you're complimenting me. But why are you so angry? I just think that um, with all of, I think you were speaking about this yesterday, with all of your knowledge, you could give better advice to these boneheads. I think I'm giving great advice. What bad advice have I given? I don't know, just a guy who just called with, oh, never sent flowers. You treat women like garbage, basically. That's just wrong. That's what women love. That's what they respond to, dear. That is incorrect. Not all women love that. We never said all women, dear, but enough women that it's worth your while to do it that way. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's just wrong. It just sounds what so is, wrong. What's wrong with I, it? I just take offense to it. Well, I, you take offense to it, but maybe you should look inward. Maybe you should talk to women and ask them why they go out with jerks, why they love jerks, why they marry jerks, why they give it up to jerks and nice guys get left off to the side. Why don't you ask women why they do that, and then uh, you should figure out who you should be angry at. All I do is report the truth here, and you know that's the truth. Not in 100% of the cases, but in the majority of the cases, it is true. The well, nice guy gets shunted to the side. The jerk is the one who gets uh, the play. No, we do like nice guys, but nice guys who have character. No, you, uh, you like nice guys when you're over 30 and you're worried that somebody is going to have to pay the rent. And the irresponsible ski instructors, tennis instructors, pizza guys, musicians, and actors who you've been dating all these years are not going to pay the rent. And so all of a sudden, you know, your poindexter, who you would never go out with before, starts looking pretty good and pretty reliable. And Poindexter has to go without a date all those years. And well, tell me that doesn't happen. Well, it doesn't happen to me. I, well, dear, again, I, this, this is called broadcasting. This show is not being aimed specifically at your car. It is being aimed at millions of people. I know, we talk in generalities yeah, because we're talking to millions of people. And just because you, the exception of the rule, calls in from your car in Burbank, doesn't mean that what applies to you applies to three or four million people. I know. Just, I guess it's really sad to see that there's so many idiots out there. Well, dear, we I, again, see, my job is to act like a mirror and reflect the world accurately, not to change it, to reflect it. I don't care how many silly people there are out there. That's the way the world is, and I tell men how to get laid in the world in which we live. Not the world you want to live in, that parallel universe like on Star Trek, where you want to go beam yourself up to another planet with, uh, to a higher life form. We live here on Earth. Shh. This is where we are. And we have to date the people who live on this planet. I know, it's pretty sad. All right, so, but, uh, dear, again, you're saying how sad it is. But the fact is, the advice I'm giving is good for people who live on planet Earth with the rest of us. Now, maybe you're out there on Remulon or some other planet where people are all nice guys, get the dates, jerks are ignored, uh, where guys who treat women like uh, queens are all rewarded. On Earth, it doesn't work that way. On Earth, the guy who sends flowers gets dirt kicked in his face. On Earth, the guy who treats you like crap is the guy you're fascinated with. Not you. I'm talking about women generally. You are one of the very few exceptions to this rule. I say this with years and years of personal experience, not to mention the experience I've had with friends of mine having to listen to their troubles. It's always the same theme. Now, why do you blame me for the way the world is? I didn't create the world. It's just like it's the way we reflect the world, the way you describe it. I describe it accurately, and even you admit that I describe it accurately. 
In saying that, oh, it's so sad, you are conceding that I'm right. The world is the way I describe it. Now you want me to describe it through rose-colored glasses. You want me to tell men you should respect women and bring flowers and you should uh, say hi to their children and help them uh, mother their kids and take them to theme parks and you should be a nice guy because that's what women want. And the guy who follows that advice doesn't get laid. I mean, is that all that's about getting laid? That's why guys date. Don't you understand that? No. Why do you hate me for this? For telling you, I'm, I'm giving you a gift here. I'm telling you how, what men say about you when you leave the room. I'm telling you what men think. Every man who ever went on a date with you, dear, don't kid yourself. He wanted to see how you looked with your shirt off. That's why he asked you out. Not because you appeared to be intelligent. Not because you appeared to be nice. Not because you appeared to have a good career. He wanted to get some play. That's why men ask you out. Why do you think men pay for dinner? So they can hear you waxing philosophical about your political opinions? We don't give a rat's ass about your political opinions, your intellect, your IQ. Not until we get inside and see whether you're shaved or unshaved. That's the fact. Sorry, that's the way the world is. Now, why do you hate me for giving an accurate representation of how men think? I just get really upset when you when you say, you know, things like, well, I just feel like you are asking these men to treat women like... No, I'm telling... Are you looking to start your own business? Millions of brothers have turned to eBay to escape the rat race. Become your own boss and get the Power Seller Research eBook. It's a comprehensive, step-by-step -step guide that explains how to start an eBay business. The website is PowerSellerResearch.com. Again, that's PowerSellerResearch.com.